Really, Hasbro? You had one job. Shouldn't have been this hard. Geeks, what's poppin'? Marvel Legends series Cable from the Zabu Build-A-Figure Wave. Why was there such a big gap in my reviews for this wave? Because Big Bad Toy Store shipped me the entire wave except for Cable. I called them as of a few days ago. They have received no cables whatsoever. They said no pre-orders have been filled. This thing is sold out everywhere. GameStop has some over the weekend. Those sold out in a couple of hours. Entertainment Earth still has it listed as a pre-order, even though they've shipped some, but not to everybody. Sold out on Amazon, sold out everywhere. It's ridiculous. This isn't even my cable. Thanks to my homeboys Lance and Jay Jones, I'm able to do this review. Jay Jones secured a cable for me. So my boy Lance let me review his. <laughs> it's insane. But anyway, I hope you're able to find one. That 90s art coming through. Marvel logo on the top. Getting down to business on the back. Cable travels back through time from a dystopian future to help the X-Men as an enhanced telekinetic mutant. Say what? All right, he's got two pistol hands on the side. He's got futuristic pistol, what looks like a futuristic shotgun, and a random kitty cat leg. Accessories! You better be worth all the trouble, mister. Did a really good job in the face sculpt. He's got that gruff, angry, my future is all screwed up look. I like the energy coming out of his eye. The scars around his right eye look really good. The hair is well sculpted and it has a nice two-tone wash to it. Dig it. Five o'clock shadow also looks pretty good. Doesn't look like that awful Wolverine arm hair. At least not from this distance, which I can deal with. I like the yellow. The paint on his X's here, the X and the red, it's kind of sloppy. There's like smudging and bleed over. The recent Cyclops we got wasn't like that. Love this arm. I feel like we've seen it recently on somebody, but it is pinless, so joy, joy, joy. Paint job on his calves, really weak. You see some spraying here around the top. And it could use another coat because the blue is bleeding through, so it doesn't match up with the boot. And whoa, whoa big sloppy here. That's just ugly. That eye magic though. 360 up top, little tilt left, little tilt right, good range looking down, and up. No butterfly joints for the big guy, arms get up about parallel to the shoulders. Peek under the hood, oh that seam there is kind of, ooh, futuristic hug. He was raised without parents, so don't expect him to get any closer. Wingspan height, doesn't get close to being parallel with the back. One pinless double jointed elbow, give me that work. One pinned double jointed elbow, give me that work. This might be a first. <laughs> really, Hasbro? You got two pinless legs, one pinless arm. You just had to give us one arm with pins. Come on, man. 360 at the shoulder, 360 at the bicep. 360 at the wrist, of course, nothing at the forearm. Get your repulsive blast and you kiss the ring. Wrist cuffs do come off. All right, so I love this. The strap harnesses, they're not attached. It just looks like it. So you can get your crunch. With other figures in the past, they haven't done that. So you can't twist the waist and get all the articulation out of it. So good job on Hazel Park there. Now he's Mr. Munchy Crunchy. Give me that woolly way back. He had 360 at the waist, 360 at the thigh cut, 360 at the calf, and 360 at the foot. Big boy split, so not a lot of range. Bend damage, not too bad. Range on the bendo was all right. Not really kicking in any doors. Double jointed pinless knees give you really good range. If you're smaller, you probably kick his own butt. I like that his knee pads are a part of his knee. Not attached to the lower portion of the leg. Ballet ready. Pure wet. Rockers. Enough horsing around. Let's get big. In this chop! Comes in at just under six and three quarter inches. 
Hmm. How do I explain this? All right, so let me get the good out of the way first. As a figure, I really like it. I think that head sculpt is phenomenal. The colors pop off. It makes me feel like I'm reading a comic book or watching a cartoon. He looks and feels like Cable. Now, the problems I have with it mostly are related to my figure in particular, not the figure overall, because I don't know if the problems are rampant throughout, but the QC on this guy really has me disappointed. I'm hoping it's not like this across all the line. But the bad paint job up here on the X's, the bad paint job down here on the calves, the bad paint job on the back of the knees, it just kind of ruins it for me. I would say I'd swap it out for another one, but hey, where can you get a cable right now? So let me know in the comments if you have this figure, or if you've seen one close up, let me know if these QC issues go across the board. If so, then that's just awful because this is otherwise a phenomenal figure. Also a little disappointed that he does not have a holster for at least one of his guns. Something on his back or something on his leg, I don't know. Because with this hand, I would love to have him posing with it without having to put away both of his guns. And we all know Cable stores one of his guns on his back. Come on guys. All right, so that being said, I know I sound like I'm down on it, but I do love it. I think it's awesome. When I put him up on the shelf, the QC issues won't be as apparent. It's just close up and pictures where the problem comes in. All right, so let me know what you think. Am I being too nitpicky? Should I just be glad that I got my hands on one? Let me know. Talk to me about the QC issues you have or don't have. Let's hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Share a link with a friend that loves the plastic marble legends like we do. Make sure to join our Facebook group. The name of the group's up in the left hand corner of your screen. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for all the love and support. Until next time, geek out. Sabo's next.